Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to control water level using H051 in Proteus. So I have used AT89C51 microcontroller and LCD, 4 LEDs, then 4 push buttons I have used and at last L293D motor driver module. As the output of controller is maximum 5 volts with very small amount of current, it cannot drive the motors. So to amplify the voltage, motor driver IC module is used. L293D can drive motors up to 36 volts and can provide 600 milliamps. The IC has some 15 pins. The inputs to the motor are connected to port P3 through the pins of P3.0 and P3.1. So the LEDs are connected to port 0 and the switches are connected to port 2. The LCD is connected and uh, connected to port P1 through its data pins. Then its pins uh, RS, RW and Enable are connected to port 2. Now to provide clock to microcontroller, I have used capacitors of 33 microfarad and a crystal oscillator of 11.0592 megahertz. And to provide reset, reset, uh, reset if I want to reset the microcontroller, I have used capacitor of 10 microfarad, then a register of 10k ohms and a push button. Now we should see what is the logic behind this project. Suppose I assume the water tank to be in the form of these four switches. If all the switches are at off state, that means whole tank is empty. Now if I start simulation, the motor runs and slowly the water gets filled. After some time, I will press switch 1, indicating that 25% of the tank has been filled. The indication will be given by first LED and the message will be displayed on LCD, while the, motors keep the, while the motor will be keep running. After some time, I will press switch 2, indicating that 50% of the tank has been filled. The indication will be given by second LED and message will be will be given by LCD. This process continues until the whole tank gets filled and once it is filled the motor will be will be stopped and it won't let water to get filled anymore. If I use 25% of the water from the tank by making the one fourth sorry by making the fourth push button off then the water gets start again. Now uh, this was ho uh, this was uh, this was all about the circuit diagram. Now we should uh, now we should see like how we are going to implement this with the program. So this is the program. So firstly, including the header file reg51.h, then defining the LEDs that is connected to port P1, and then defining. This, these are the LC, uh, LEDs, sorry, and this is the LCD which is connected to port P1. The LEDs are connected to port 0. Then switches are connected to port 2. They are, they are, they are also defined. Then motor pins are defined. Then uh, RS, PE and RW pins are also defined. Then this is the user defined function delay. It is used to provide the delay using for loop. Then coming to CMD function, it is used to set up the LCD. Then LData function will write the data to LCD. Then string function is used to write alphabetical data to LCD. So this is the main main function. Sorry, main not main function. I mean this is the necessary function uh, that check uh, that that checks water level. Uh, this is what we have thought of. This is the logic behind. Like if the uh, switch one is pressed, then we have to return it twenty five. Then if uh, both the switches keeping both the switches on, then um, we will get fifty. Then if three pins three switches are pressed, then we will get seventy five. If all the switches are pressed, then we will get hundred. So this is another user defined function. It will <coughs> it will uh, s uh, tell about the status 
like LEDs will be indicating and the strings and the messages will be displayed on LCD like 0%, 25%, 50% and 75% then 100% also so the motor run function is used to uh, rotate the motor then motor stop function is used to stop the motor so these are the temporary variables I have defined here these are the commands used to set up the LCD so the check water level function it will return the it will uh, pass the value to water status temporary variable if this uh, variable is not equal to uh, zero then the status of water water status like here it will be uh, displayed if uh, like if if we have got 25 then this case will run and the led zero will be turned off turned on and the lcd will put the message like 25 percent this means like 25 percent of the tank has been filled so the motor will run up to uh, until the the status reaches 100 and after that it will stop so this was the logic behind and this is the code now we shall create the hex file hex file has been created I have named the hex file as water1.hex I will import it in the 8051 water1.hex open ok starting the simulation now since the uh, since all the buttons um, that means whole tank is empty and the motor is also has also started running that means the water is getting filled now if i press button 1 it will indicate that 25% of the tank has been filled and motor will keep running to fill the remaining tank and the LED has been turned on the first LED then after some time half of the tank has to be filled that is 50% it will show motor keeps running then 75% then 100% now the motor speed will reduce that means the motor is stopping again if I use some water like I have used some one fourth amount of water from the tank then motor will again start that means uh, it has to fill some one fourth one fourth uh, one fourth quantity of water one fourth uh, of the tank has to be filled so the motor has started running similarly if I use again motor will keep on running and if I use uh, sorry if I mm, like if it is filled 75% then it will still run then if it is filled again filled again then motor will stop and all the LEDs are indicating so that's how we control the motor thank you so much for watching this video thank you